Hey, what's happening? This is Dr. Nandi. Today we are going to talk about a GRE quant, sorry, GMAT quant prep problem. But uh, before I get started, uh, I'll mention that I have solved all kinds of GMAT quant prep problems just for you and also other kinds of math problems in my channel at You Can Do Math. So without hesitation, please subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button at the bottom right corner because then you will have free access to all kinds of math problems solved just for you, which you can review and you can also download. So let's get started. So the problem states, if a fair two-sided coin is flipped six times, what is the probability that the tails is the result at least twice, but at most five times? So minimum is two, maximum is five times you get tail. And you have five options for the answer. Here, the probability of getting a tail in a single toss is small p, probability of success is 0.5. The probability of getting a head in a single toss is q, or probability of failure, is one minus small p, is one minus 0.5, is also 0.5. When a coin is flipped six times, the probability of getting tails two times is six combination two. That means out of six items, two are taken. Multiplied by p, probability of getting a tail raised to the power of two, and multiplied by q, which is the probability of getting a head raised to the power of four. But since P is equal to Q, both of them equal to 0.5, the probability of getting at least, I mean, getting exactly two heads out of, when you talk, flip a coin six times is six C2, P and Q are same. So it is P raised to the power of six. When the coin is flipped six times, the probability of getting exactly three heads is six, C3 also P to the power of six, multiplied by P to the power of six. And when you flip the coin six times, the probability of getting exactly four tails is six C4, P6. Here I want to mention C stands for combination. It's a combination of four items taken out of six, okay? And multiplied by P, probability of success raised to the power of six. Similarly, the probability of getting exactly five head uh, tail five times when the coin is flipped six times is six C5 P to the power of six. Therefore, for the probability of getting a tail at least two times, minimum is two and maximum is five, is you got to add all these probabilities, is six C2 P6 plus six C3 P6 plus six C4 P6 plus six C5 P6. So you can take out the common factor P6 outside the parenthesis. It's six C2 plus six C3 plus six C4 plus six C5. So P raised to the power of six is 0 0.5 X1 and six. And you can find out six C2 is 15, six C3 is 20, six C4 is 15 and six C5 is six. So you add inside the parenthesis, 15 plus 20 plus 15 plus 6. Now 0 0.5 exponent 6 is 0 0.015625 multiplied by some of the four numbers is 56. The total is 0 0.15, 0 0.015625 times 56 is 0 0.875. Now 7 over 8 is 0 0.875. So the correct answer is option C. I will stop here today. If you have any question, please write me a comment. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And uh, I'm coming back next time with another interesting GMAT problem solved just for you. Please subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button at the bottom right corner, because then you will have free access to all these problems solved just for you. Take care, have a nice day. See you next time.